Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Sandman in standard difficulty. Uh, so we've got Hulk and Aggression. We're just, of course, going to do my classic style of just beat the villain up before they can really do anything. Hopefully it works well. Uh, let's go through our setup. Okay, so we search the encounter deck for the city streets environment. I've already got it here put into play. And it comes in play with four sand, can uh, sand counters on it. So uh, sand counters here. We have two and four. Uh, the city streets has a surging sand special. We replace one sand counter here, then discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of sand counters here. And a hero action we can exhaust a character we control, remove sand counters from here equal to the character's attack. Uh, limit once per round per player. Uh, we'll move to 1B. Uh, we have hapless pedestrians, threats out at 9, comes in with 2. Goes up by 1 at the start of villain phase. As a force response, after an acceleration token is placed on the scheme, deal 3 indirect damage to the first player. Uh, Sandman himself, he has 16 health. And a sandblast force interrupt. He, um, when he attacks you, uh, that attack deals indirect damage. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the Surging Sands ability on City Streets. He's got a scheme of 1, attack of 2. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. It's a pretty basic setup. We'll drop our hand size and get going. And here's Mixie. We have a counterattack, a movable object, thunderclap, uh, limitless strength, and Hulk smash. Well, we're going to hold on to those two. Um, hey, buddy. What do you think? What do you choose? Mulligan all these? Do we hold on to counter? We'll hold on to counterattack. Mulligan these two. And we'll draw two more cards. We have a skilled strike and drop kick. Okay. So we aren't going to use our experimental research. We're just going to flip up to Hulk. We will Hulk smash 413 plus the skilled strike. We'll make it 15. So we take <laughs> we take Sandman. From 16 to 1 with our uh, attack of 15. <laughs> Alright, Mixie, you're making this difficult. You're making this difficult, but yeah. Um, we'll then use our drop kick to put in a counter attack. And that'll be our turn. We're ready. Alright, so. And you get. All right. We get our four cards. We have a clobber, another clobber, boundless rage, and power of aggression. Okay. Uh, we get one threat on the main scheme, taking this up to three. Sandman is going to attack us. Uh, we'll just take it. So it's two plus nothing. Uh, it's indirect damage. We'll take the two. We'll discard our counter attack to knock him into the next stage. Um, granted, I'm not sure all the timing effects here, but it won't really matter. Um, because we took damage, we resolve the surging sands ability. So this goes up to five. So we place one on it. And then discard cards on top of the encounter deck equal to the number of sand cows. So five. So one, two, three. Four and five. Uh, and so the next version of Sandman comes in with 18. And this also, when revealed, resolves the sand counters. So one goes on here. Throw in another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll get our encounter card. And revealed, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for, and remove from game area for a copy of your obligation, then reveal it. During the reveal, if you change the alter ego form, discard one random card from your hand. If this obligation was not revealed, it's like, wow, this is going to be really bad. I don't think we've seen the obligation come out yet. So. We must flip to Bruce Banner. We have to discard two cards, and because of this, we're going to discard three cards. So that is um that is horrendous. 
what's the point of even holding on to anything? All right, well, throw that away. And what shall we do? We'll experimental research, might as well. Draw a card, discard a card, just to cycle our deck. Flip up to Hulk. We'll attack Sam in for three. Take him down to 15. We'll throw away this clobber. And we're ready. Get four cards, we have limit strength. Drop kick, thunderclap, and into the fray. Uh, we're gonna get one thread on here. Sandman's gonna attack us for three, we'll take it. Three plus one is four. We'll resolve the surging sand, so it's gonna be seven. One, And seven. Then we'll get our encounter card. Uh, it's called Criminal, which will surge. And we have a dirt trap. Comes with one threat. And when defeated, resolve the surging sands ability. But I'm sure you all know I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to spend three physical resources for a drop kick. This guy doesn't have guard, so we hit same end for four. We stun him, and we draw a card because we spent all physical resources. It's going to be piercing strike. We will spend two resources for a piercing strike. Deal three damage to an enemy. We'll throw it to Sandman. Bring him down to eight. We'll then attack with Hulk for three. Taking Sandman down to five, and then ready. Get four cards, we have a counterattack, strength, combat training, and looking for trouble. Okay, we'll get one threat main scheme. Sandman will go to attack, but he's stunned. Uh, common criminal will hit us for one. Get our encounter card. Uh, Panic of Streets, treat the printed text box of each location support and each persona support as if it were blank except for traits. Doesn't really matter. Let's come into 5 threat. Let's go put acceleration icon in the play. That's not a token, it's just an icon. Uh, when I have uh, tokens, I put them on the actual main scheme instead of in the bar here. All right. We'll spend two resources. Sorry, to put in combat training, giving us plus one attack. We will attack Sandman for four. Take him down to one. Spend one. Put in counter attack. And we're ready. We'll draw four cards. Okay. We get two threat main scheme. Pushing it to seven. Sandman's going to attack us for three. We're just going to take it. So three, four damage. We counter attack. And Sandman will be defeated. You know, we'll even trigger the Surging Sands for the sake of it in case that happened first. So that'll be uh, eight. Which would deck us out, which would put an acceleration token into play. And when acceleration is placed on this scheme, we deal three indirect damage. So even with that, the counterattack would have defeated Sandman. So once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. Uh, Sandman is a pretty straightforward scenario though. Uh, I mean, granted, the whole strategy, as you saw, again, just ignoring things, just beat him down because it wasn't too much I really had to worry about. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, just a straightforward beat the villain. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.